Hey now, Mike Shaman here. This is how you do a quiz with WordPress. So I'm using Gravity Forms plugin. They have an add-on called Quiz, the quiz add-on. So you wanna make sure that this is activated on your Gravity Forms plugin inside of WordPress. Then you wanna to go to your forms once it's activated. And then you wanna go over here to Advanced Fields. And there's a quiz button right here. You can put that quiz right in line right there. Now this will only give you, if you hit update, let's go check it out. All right, so there's what our form looks like right now. So there's a problem with our submission. The errors have been highlighted. So what we wanna do is we wanna go back into this form here and just hit the drop down, And then we can edit it right here. We can edit the quiz name. We can edit the description and add some text in there if we wanted. Then we can also change the button types. So if you wanna check boxes instead of radio buttons or if there's the multiple choice. Then you can also, if it's a right answer or not, depending on what you Put, you can do a check mark there and if it's weighted you can do that as well it, you don't need the check mark there you don't need to have the check mark there or you, and it doesn't need to be required you can just have your choices right here all right and you can make it required if you like and just go update all right and if we refresh our form you can see that it's right here and just go submit and it submits now if we go back onto our form we can stylize this up a little bit. So if you wanted to do multiple sections and kind of get a bar at the top, let's see if we can do this. What you want to do is you want to just go to page right here and you want to put that in there. Then you just want to duplicate this for this example. We'll duplicate it and put that right there. Let's duplicate this one, this page break. And let's duplicate this quiz form again. And then just put this one, oops, right in between these two pages. And we'll set the drop down and just do A, B, and C. All right, just to make it a little bit different. So we know that we're doing a different form each time or a different question each time. All right, and now let's go to update. All right, now we have our form refreshed. And then you see we have our step one of three at the top with our bar right there. And then we just go and select whatever one we want, go to next, and it will take us to the next page. All right, and there's the next page. And we select what we want, go to, go to next. And there's step three of three. And then you complete that and hit submit. All right, then it submits it to the contact. You can control where this form goes. If you just go to settings and go to confirmations, it will take you to this page right here. And you should have a default confirmation in there. If you go to edit, this is where you can choose if the text. Remember that text we saw after we submitted it? Well, this is where you can edit that text right here. If you wanted to go to a page, maybe you have it redirect after they submit the quiz that goes to a page. You can select what page it goes to, or if you want to redirect them to a custom URL or a different URL that you have already set up, you put, put that in right here. That's how you redirect them to where you want to get them to go after the quiz. If you want to check out Gravity Forms, go ahead and hit the link below in the description. If you get value out of this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe subscribe button and check out some more of my gravity forms tutorials. I'm sure you'll get some value out of those as well. All right. I'll see y'all in the next video.